Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best one channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! Welcome back to the Grow Tent, everybody. We got a really good episode for you today. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the most important weeks during your grow. Uh, and originally I was just going to do it on one party to grow, but I think I've switched it around and we are going to talk about the most important weeks during each stage of your growth because there are weeks that matter more than others. And, uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. But first, as always, it's the intro guys. If you haven't yet joined our Patreon, we got a lot of cool stuff that happens on the Patreon, especially right now. Uh, you might want to go check it out. Links to it is in the video description below and, uh, really check out the VIP tiers. All right, what else we got? Uh, guys, if you're looking for a light tent, anything of the sort, exhaust fans, whatever, check out Mars Hydro. Use code WTTGT. Doesn't matter if you do caps lock or all capital or lowercase. Doesn't matter. The code still works. Get an extra discount when you check it out. And it helps out the channel a ton because we get a kickback whenever you use our link in the video description and put in our code. Uh, also, guys, we've have been having tons of baby snakes over on uh, Spartan Pythons. Uh, so maybe come check that out. And... Uh, really good looking snakes i might put one up right there that's one of the ones we just hatched out so super excited about it and we're gonna be giving some snakes away this year uh as soon as we hit uh a certain subscriber mark i think we're only going, trying to go for like 1200 subscribers so we are extremely close so if you subscribe subscribed to our spartan python channel go check it out let's get today's episode started most important weeks of your growth coming up right now Woo! and we're back <laughs> All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the most important weeks of your grow. Originally, like I said before, originally I was just going to do this on flower uh, because there's an overall most important weeks of your grow. All the weeks, you know, they, they matter if you fuck them up but, or you mess them up. Sorry, YouTube, Susan, don't cancel me. Uh, they all matter, but there is some weeks that if you don't do certain things, that it will impact your grow and how fast you get through seedling and veg and training and, you know, uh, filling out your canopy. So there's there's definitely weeks there uh, that there are steps that are more important than other weeks whenever we call it when we're on cruise control. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start at the beginning. We're starting all the way back at seedling. Not first two weeks of seedlings and not much to do. They're just they're boring for the especially the first week when they're coming out of the ground. You don't have nothing. Boring is it's not boring that it's cool that they're coming out of the ground. Trust me, that's my one of my favorite parts. Uh, but the boring part is there's nothing for you to do. Nothing. They're just, oh, they've got a shell stuck on their head. It'll get rid of it itself. Oh, this one's growing a little. It'll fix itself. All right. There's nothing for you to do. That's what. It, whenever I'm saying it's boring, uh, there's nothing that it needs your intervention with. As long as they have enough water, they've got however you're doing it with your food or whatever, whatever grow material you're starting. As long as they got food and water and light, they don't really care. And so there's nothing for you to do. So what is the most important week of seedling? Uh, well, if you grow like I do, week three of seedling is the most important week. Um, we're going to do a beginner version and maybe a more advanced version of why week three is is the most important week. If you're a beginner, don't listen to the freaking advanced part that we're going to talk about because the channel is mainly designed for beginners, but I do like to talk to people that are, you know, they, you know, they're further along in their grow journey also. So week three of seedling, you have a couple things that can happen. So if you're a beginner, cruise control, just kind of leave it alone. If you're, you're a little bit behind the eight ball, if it's, you know, you've maybe watered them a little too much, you can just leave it alone, keep it in the dome, whatever. Uh, but week three is the first week, uh, week three of seedling is the first week we can bring training into our mix where we actually get to do something that matters. Um, and we've got great videos on it on, it's called when to start topping the C word. Now it doesn't actually say the C word. Think of what, what I'm trying to replace the C word with when to start topping blank. Uh, and you can find that on our channel. And this is, deals with week three seedlings and whenever we start training them. Uh, so there's a great video on that. You should check it out. I, mean, I, I probably put the link up. Please remember, put the link up. Please put the link up. <laughs> Maybe in that top corner, I put it up there. Hopefully, I doubt it. 
always forget that. Um, but this is that week three is the week you can start bringing in training. Uh, even if you're in a beginner grow, if you have stuff, you know, you have new but you know, new uh, nodal sites happening below the tops, we can start bringing training in. And uh, depending on what kind of training, watch my ultimate guide to plant training. <laughs> Link to the video right there. Hopefully, God's sakes, hopefully. <laughs> And uh, you should check that out, and I'll show you what kind of training to do. Okay, so that was the beginner version. You're probably going to be able to top or film, most likely film, uh, whenever you were in week three seedling. The more advanced version, if you're a new person, earmuffs. I want you to put earmuffs in. If you are a more advanced person, this is the week where you will be taking from the cubes into solo cups on week three of veg. I do mine at the beginning of week three veg. I'm done with the cubes. I don't want the roots to get slowed down at all. I go from the cubes into the solo cups, but I keep them under the same light and I introduce training methods this same week also. If you are new, don't do this. You have a way better chance of messing your plants up. This is only for people that are not going to overwater their plants going into a bigger container sooner than it needed be. But it is a way to speed up the plant's growth by giving them more soil instead of just the cubes because the roots won't constantly air prune themselves because there's nothing for them to grow into in the cubes. But if you are a new person who's struggling with water, this is a way more detrimental step because you're putting them into more soil sooner than you need to or that you have to because generally you could wait another two weeks before you went into solos uh, at this step. So a little bit of beginner and advanced knowledge here on the video. Okay, so that takes care of seedling. Those are my tips for seedling. Your most important week is week three of seedling because it's the week you get to start doing stuff. Uh, and then week four, you're not doing any more training. You're just letting them go. You're getting ready to transfer if you haven't yet into your solos or one gallons or whatever you're going into. All right, so part two, dos, zwei. Uh, and, no, it's dry, dry, sorry. Zwei is three in German. Uh, so it's uh, part two, dos, or zwei, it's zwei, uh, and uh, in German. Okay, so the most important week of veg. You're like, well, GT, how are you going to know the most important week of veg? Because veggies range from whether you got, if you had four plants in a two by four versus four plants in a four by four. Yeah, see, exactly. The veg ranges. So that's why it's not a number, but it's your last week of veg. Uh, that is generally my, whenever I would say is my most important week because what I am deciding to do with my plants is, am I taking clones? Am I just topping? Am I just super, am I super cropping? My, what I'm going to do my last week will depend on what I'm, what kind of training method I am going to implement. If I'm going to be taking clones, it changes my timeline a little bit because we're taking so much more of the plant. If I'm just widening out the plants and stuff like that, but week, my last week of veg, whatever that is for you, maybe it's week three of veg because you got a smaller tent and more plants. Or maybe it's week nine of veg because you have a, the same number of plants, but you have a five by five. You're trying to fill up with them. So instead of giving you a number, it's just your last week is my always my most important because it's your last chance. You really get to do some training before you're going to be locking them down under a scrog net, which is a low form stress of training. But you're really your last chance to get the plants into the shape that you want and go into flower with a even canopy. Because if you're going into flower with an even canopy, it's way easier for the most important weeks, which is what we're gonna talk about next, uh, and maintaining that even canopy. So week, the last, your last week of veg is your most important week. And depending on what kind of training you're doing, whether it's taking clones, because cloning, taking clones is a form of training. It's a more aggressive form of topping, as I like to say. Uh, is your so your last week of veg is your most important week uh what else we got okay so those those originally i wasn't even going to talk about those weeks i was only going to talk about the weeks coming up and it's the most important weeks in your grow bar none hands down nothing else even comes close so the most important weeks of your grow whatever you did in seedling whatever you did in veg there's no more important weeks than the two weeks that we're going to talk about next. And those two weeks are week two and week three of flower. 
what are basically known as the stretch. And if you mess these steps up, you will never get giant, you guys have all seen the videos, like I'm not putting them up now or else the, the, the video will get age restricted, but go on back. Check out any of the videos that I have with plants in them. All my flower videos through the gardens are perfectly even. Colas in every type, colas in every square, and they're you know they're uniform, they're consistent, and it's because of how much time you guys know. I like to say, don't spend so much time in the grow room. Don't be constantly in the grow room. Well, during these two weeks, weeks two and weeks three of flower, technically weeks one through three is called, of flower is called the stretch. Well, they don't really do much in week one because it's a transition week. They're transitioning from veg to flower. So week one, they might stretch a tiny bit, but not a ton. But weeks two and week three, on the other hand, the plant can double in size, sometimes more. Uh, so... How, you're going to need to be in the garden. I know this is going to be, everybody's going to freaking love to hear this. You have to go in every day. So what I will do is in the morning, I will go in and starting it, you know, you can start at the end of week one. Not really necessary because they they're, they're still transitioning from veg to flower. But whenever you get into flower and you're in the start of week two, every morning you have to go in the tent because they can go grow two to three inches overnight. And... What you're going to want to do is, what we do is called absorb the stretch. And we're going to use the scrog net to absorb the stretch. And by keeping our canopy even with the scrog net, I've got a bunch of great videos on canopy control. You should check them out. And where I actually do this in live, real time, where the garden's all uneven from a night of growth. And then I go back in there and laser straight it with using the scrog net to keep them all the same height. And you say, why is this so important? Well, there's a reason for it. If you have plants up here and you have plants down here when you're in flower, these plants over here are getting more light than these plants over here. Maybe this is too much light. Maybe this is not enough light. Or maybe this is the right amount of light and this is too much, you know, whatever it is. Or maybe this is the right amount of light and this one, this is down here, is not enough light. So now you have plants that are getting different amounts of light under the same light and, you know, it, so they're going to grow at different rates. Well, that's not how you get uniformity. That's not how you get entire gardens full of giant colas. Because if stuff is growing at different rates, then your garden's not going to look identical. And we want to grow for max yield. And, well, most everybody does. And uh, so if you're growing for that, then you're going to need everything even. So at the beginning of every day of week two and week three, I go into the garden every day of the week. It's the only time in the plant's entire growth that I do that. So every morning I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna bend those tops down into the new squares so that I keep everything even. After week three ends, you're done with this. You don't have to do it anymore. Then you're back onto what we call cruise control because not much to do except lollipop one time a week. And uh, just pick your day, Is it, hey, it's Friday. That's my lollipop day. Weeks two through week seven, I go in on a lollipop one time a week. But weeks two and week three are the most, if you want giant gardens that are full of, you know, they're consistent, uniform, giant, all the buds look the same, you cannot do that unless you control the canopy. So weeks two and week three of flower are your most important weeks of your grow. Bar none, hands down, not even close. So, I hope everybody <laughs> has a good time with the video. Uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Maybe uh, if you did learn something, throw me a like on the video. It was much appreciated. It helps out the algorithm. I'll see you guys next time. I think I've been talking long enough. The video is going to be like 14 or 15 minutes. So I'll see you guys next time. GT. Oh, wait. And remember to check out for the contest videos that are, are pictures and plant review that will come out tomorrow that will be age restricted so you might not get a notification for it but head to the channel make sure you're signed in you'll be able to see it just like we've been doing for the last five or six weeks now uh so make sure you check that out but gt out